Good day, we will discuss now the main source of deuterium deposits in the Philippines. We will discuss where this deuterium coming from and what countries and trenches did deuterium flows. Due to the unending motion of the earth from west to east and with gravity, deuterium travels 12,000 kilometers from Central America down to the Philippines. It replenished the Philippine trench of approximately 85 million barrels every day. The first country or location where the deuterium coming from is Puerto Rico. It is the main source of deuterium. Puerto Rico is a Spanish word which means rich port. However, the fluid pressure in this area is extremely high due to its depth, the reason it was very hard to extract these resources in the area. The second country where deuterium flows is Panama, same thing with Puerto Rico. The fluid pressure is also extremely high. Next is Mexico, then USA, then Canada, particularly in the area of British Columbia. Then it flows also in Alaska, then crossed in the territory of Russia. Then it flows to Japan, then to Guam through the Marianas Trench and down to the Philippine Trench. Due to Earth unending motion from west to east, the Philippine Trench is replenished daily with approximately 85 million barrels. Deuterium travels and flows at an approximate distance of 12,000 kilometers from Puerto Rico Trench until it stops in the Philippine Trench. Next, we will tackle the different trenches where deuterium flows from the source until it finally stops in the Philippine Trench. We have eight trenches to cover where this deuterium flows and we will take a look on how deep these trenches have. These trenches are the following, first the Puerto Rico Trench where the deuterium coming from, then the Middle America Trench also known as Central American Trench. Then we have the Aleutian Trench in the territorial jurisdiction of Russia, the Kuril Trench which is located north of Japan Trench, Isobono Trench which is located southward of Japan Trench. The Marianas Trench which is located in the territory of Guam which is the current deepest trench in the world and lastly the Philippine Trench. The Puerto Rico Trench is the deepest place in the Atlantic Ocean, plunging more than 5 miles below sea level. Lying about 75 miles north of the island of Puerto Rico, this long, narrow gash in the seafloor extends to the east for nearly 1,100 miles. The region remains poorly understood, largely because its tremendous depth makes it difficult to study. Even remotely operated vehicles or ROVs and other deep sea research tools have not been able to reach the bottom of the trench, yet recent exploration cruises and mapping projects have begun to unravel the mystery. The trench is approximately 1,090 miles long and 60 miles width. It has a depth of 8,380 meters. The Middle America Trench, sometimes referred to as the Central America Trench or Mid-American Trench, is a major subduction zone, an oceanic trench in the eastern Pacific Ocean off the coast of Mexico and Central America. It can be divided into a northern section called the Acapulco Trench and a southern section called the Guatemala Trench stretching from central Mexico to Costa Rica. The trench is approximately 2,750 kilometers long. It reaches a depth of 6,689 meters at its deepest point, the 18th deepest trench in the world. It covers a total area of 96,000 square kilometer. Aleutian Trench, submarine trench located on the south side of the Aleutian Islands between the Gulf of Alaska and the Commander Islands in the North Pacific Ocean. The Aleutian Trench reaches a maximum depth of 8,109 meters. The trench extends for 3,400 kilometers from a triple junction in the west with the Alakan Fault and the northern end of the Kuril Kamchatka Trench to a junction with the northern end of the Queen Charlotte Fault System in the east. It is classified as a marginal trench in the east as it runs along the margin of the continent. 
Kuril Trench, deep submarine depression in the western Pacific Ocean, situated on the east side of the Kamchatka Peninsula, the Kuril Islands, and Hokkaido Island, Japan. Extending for about 2,900 km north-south, it has a maximum depth of 10,542 meters and covers a total area of 264,000 square kilometer. The Kuril Trench marks the beginning of a chain of oceanic trenches extending from the southwestern edge of the Bering Sea to the southern tip of the Philippine Trench. Such trenches mark the convergence and collision of the Pacific Plate with plates to the west. The Japan Trench is an oceanic trench part of the Pacific Ring of Fire off Northeast Japan. It extends from the Kuril Islands to the northern end of the Aiso Islands, and is 8,046 meters at its deepest. It links the Kuril, Kamchatka Trench to the north and the Aiso, Ogasawara Trench to its south with a length of 800 kilometers. This trench is created as the Oceanic Pacific Plate subducts beneath the continental Okotsk Plate, a microplate formerly a part of the North American Plate. The subduction process causes bending of the downgoing plate, creating a deep trench. Continuing movement on the subduction zone associated with the Japan Trench is one of the main causes of tsunamis and earthquakes in northern Japan including the megathrust Tohoku earthquake and resulting tsunami that occurred on March 11, 2011. The Aisu Ogasawara Trench, also known as Aisu Bonin Trench, is an oceanic trench in the western Pacific Ocean, consisting of the Aisu Trench at the north and the Bonin Trench at the south, west of the Ogasawara Plateau, that it stretches from Japan to the northernmost section of Marianas Trench. The Aisu Ogasawara Trench is an extension of the Japan Trench. Here, the Pacific Plate is being subducted beneath the Philippine Sea Plate, creating the Aisu Islands and Bonin Islands on the Aisu Bonin Mariana Arc system. It is 9,780 meters at its deepest. The Mariana Trench or Marianas Trench is located in the western Pacific Ocean about 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Islands. It is the deepest oceanic trench on Earth. It is crescent-shaped and measures about 2,550 kilometers in length and 69 kilometers in width. The maximum known depth is 10,984 meters at the southern end of a small slot-shaped valley in its floor known as the Challenger Deep. However, some unrepeated measurements place the deepest portion at 11,034 meters. If Mount Everest were hypothetically placed into the trench at this point, its peak would still be underwater by more than 2 kilometers. The Philippines Trench also Philippine Deep, Mindanao Trench, Mindanao Deep, stretches with a length of approximately 1,320 km and a width of round about 30 km from the northeast top of Luzon up to the Indonesian island of Malacca Halmahera. 10,540 meters depth were measured in its deepest point. The Pacific Ring of Fire map resembles as Guide of Deuterium flows from its source in the Trench of Puerto Rico until it stops in the Philippine Trench. This is the flow map of deuterium reflecting all the countries and trenches involved. This is how the Philippine is lucky enough that God has given these precious minerals to our country. And this is the ultimate hope of Filipinos especially the poor. To date, the implementing company, the Royal Alpha Omega Ring Trading Corporation and the Philippine Deuterium Development and Management Corporation, still open for any interested Filipino-born citizens to be part of its deuterium project beneficiaries.
Thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. If you like to join, fill out the Google form link and follow the FB page in the description.